Good morning, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new vlog. This is gonna be my how to get my mojo back vlog. I did this video about a year ago. I find that September and October, as much as I love October, it is my favorite month. We all know I love 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 spooky season i always go through a funk my funk has lasted a lot longer i think than i am willing to admit if you're new here um i lost my dad to cancer in 2022 crazy it feels like yesterday but also a lifetime ago and i just think my grief from that my anxiety from that we all know i talk about this a lot we don't need a reiteration we're not gonna talk too much about the bad in this video because we're gonna concentrate on the good. Nonetheless, I think I did a video about a year ago that was like how to get back to feeling more like me. We are titling this how to get our mojo back thanks to my husband because he told me that he wants to help me get my mojo back. Last night, thankfully, I had planned to start filming this video today. Maybe my dad heard me or maybe my grandpa because it was my grandpa's death anniversary yesterday blessed me with a good night's sleep. I'm gonna put my shiseido benefiance benefiance i can't say that damn word it i it just it dances on my tongue not in a good way every time but i'm gonna put some eye patches on because i'm just doing things this weekend that pamper me that motivate me that feel good for my soul i feel like i always do this wrong this is not right the inner corn the spiky or not the spiky the pointy part goes towards yeah 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 and then this covers my little wrinklets that I get over here. I love these eye patches though because I can clean the house, I can run a marathon, not that I'm gonna do that. They don't slide it down my face because they're like paper. These are by far my favorite eye patch, but I never like make the time to wear them. I kind of look like the Joker or something, like a villain. The sun is finally out today, thank you, Jesus. I got good sleep, the sun is out. I feel like we're getting off on a great foot with this vlog. Thank you to my angels because I really, I needed a good night's sleep and a little bit of sunshine to help lift my spirit. But tangible things, material things, beauty things help me get my mojo back. I can upload a video based on jewelry, but I always have that sentimentalness to my videos because I am someone that I just live with grief. I live with anxiety. I live with the fear of losing people constantly. But so like I uploaded my jewelry video and I shared my pieces with you guys and I shared the sentimental stories that I have with those pieces. I tie material things into my happiness and I'm not saying that that's like a healthy thing to do, but I woke up today, I wanted to get back into the swing of things. What did I do? I hair, I made a to-do list first of all, because I am a to-do, I need a to-do list. I've come to the realization I hate that I am that person, but I need to just own up to the fact that I thrive when I have a to-do list, when I have tangible things to get done. I'm me and the tangible things, it's very strange. So this morning I hair oiled, I new faced, I'm now putting on my little eye sheets. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna journal, I'm gonna read my book. It's just like things help get me through the day. Waking up, working out, getting dressed, doing my makeup are all things that really help me pull me through my life. And I know it's weird and I know it's materialistic and all that kind of stuff and I get it. But in my last vlog, I titled it, what did I title it? It was something like throw some makeup on and get on with your day because that was literally how I got myself through September. September was such a hard time for me. I struggled with a lot of things in September, with grief, with anxiety. I physically didn't feel well because I was so stressed out. There was so much change going on that I just felt like I couldn't get a grip as to what my reality was and I didn't have that aspect of control. Every day I woke up, I got dressed, I looked as cute as I possibly could and I got on with my day. And then the last couple weeks, I kind of, I've been in these pajamas for like a week, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've just been sitting in my filth, not waking up, not working out, not getting dressed, not getting ready, not throwing on a lipstick. Like, and those little silly things that might be silly to some people are really big things that help get me through my day. 
okay? So I don't know. I know it's like, I don't need this. Do I need to new face my face? No. Do I need the tightest skin on the planet? No. But just the time that I take to do this with myself and make my, it just makes myself feel better. Same thing with jewelry. Like I love jewelry, but do I love this necklace? Because it like sparkles in the light and it adds a little bit of like flair to all my outfits. Yes. But I love it the most because my aunt bought it for me and I love it that she bought it for me because she knows I'm going through a hard time and it represents grief and how I will forever live with this kind of like void of my dad. So I don't know. It's just this necklace that my husband bought me when we were in Greece. I love it. It's just, it's a little, they're like time capsules for me. One may call me materialistic, but these are things that get me through the day. And I'm gonna sit here with my eye patches. I'm gonna grab my little journal. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna declutter. I clean this whole room and it makes me so happy because Mike walks in here every morning and is like, wow, your room is so clean. And what do I say, okay? I say that when this room is a disaster, and when it's clean, whatever state this room is in, it truly represents my mental state. And I feel like I'm getting to a better place. Let's get on with the day. I also need to work out. I also need to get some work done. I have a lot of things to do. I have a YouTube community call later today, which I'm so excited about. Just, I wanna learn how I can be a little bit more creative. I wanna get inspired, think of new ideas to bring to you guys. So I'm hoping that today is a good day. I'm hoping that it is the start of Fortune getting her mojo back. And every time I say mojo, what was that guy's name from Powderpuff Girls? Mojo Jojo? Mojo Jojo. And I feel like I kind of look like him right now. By the end of this video, hopefully I will look and feel like a Powderpuff Girl. Just for the record, I was on time this time. It's factual. Look at this bat. I love the bat. I just want everyone to know that I was on time. Because everyone, I, well, I am. Yes, I am. You said six. This is like that thing. I'm asking you a hundred times before six o'clock if you're ready. And the answer is no. And then all of a sudden I At do six, something else. At six, on the dot. I'm ready, let's go. Well, I was here before you, though. Okay. All right, thank you. Well, at least we don't have umbrellas this time. True. We're starting off better than we did the last time. Yeah. Are you cold? I'm getting dressed. He's getting dressed for his festival in his honor. Right. Right. Wow. That is epic. Look, Michael loves Halloween because he's married to the Halloween queen. Wow, that's lit. What a porch they have too. Mm. Wow, it's a vibe. Well, we've come to the conclusion. That we are not- We're not carnival, carnival people. people. It's a very small child-filled carnival. Child-filled. We even saw a high-speed collision. We did, Fine. I felt bad for him. Yeah. I felt like we should have like helped him, but I feel like you can't like touch people's children. Yeah, I agree. So. Um, but anyway, the best part was the skulls across the was street. the skulls across the street. But let's go to dinner. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Secured the goods. See how this place is. This is the wine we got. Does it have a year? No. 2021 Chardonnay. Can't wait to be there next week. What a beautiful night with my beautiful love. <laughs> so handsome. Your chicken looks good. You want some? No, thank you. I have this fish and a fish head.
Good morning, my friends. I am in like a freakishly good mood today. The last two nights I've gotten the best sleep that I've gotten in like a couple weeks at this point. So I just feel a little bit rejuvenated. Checked a lot of things off my to-do list between yesterday and already today and it's 9.45 so that's very exciting. I, I don't know. I feel like I always feel weird like saying these things but I've been journaling a lot more lately and I have realized uncomfortably like it actually bothers me that I'm a people pleaser which I don't know why I've never thought that I was before and then actually like one of my coworkers, she said to me like she was like you know you and I we're people pleasers we always do things just to like keep the calm and she said that to me and I'm not gonna lie like it stung a little when she said it. I didn't go on the defense though. I just, I've been doing this thing where throughout the day, jot down things that are said where I feel some type of way. And then I've been journaling about that the next morning just to give myself, I'm just trying to be a little bit more self-aware and in being more self-aware, just like work on myself in the areas that I need. But anyway, very long-winded story to say that I've come to the realization, thanks to my coworker and then journaling about it, that I am a people pleaser. And I oftentimes don't say things just to keep the peace, but it doesn't keep my internal peace. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm a little undiagnosed ADHD and a little undiagnosed like OCD kind of. like. I am a mess, but I don't thrive when I'm a mess. Like I've always referred to myself as an organized mess, but I think like the mess messes up my brain. I don't know, anyway, so I just find, and I'm just accepting the fact that to-do lists and a planner is a must for me. I've mentioned this, but like I've tried to be that like carefree person that doesn't need to write things down, but that doesn't work for me in the ADHD sense because when I wake up and I know the things in my head, like it's like I need to get it out of my brain to help organize my brain. Because if I don't write it down and get it out of my brain, my brain is very chaotic and I feel like I'm doing bits and pieces of tasks here and there, but not in the sense where I can see it on a piece of paper and know like if I sit and I do this task or I go and I do this task, I can check it off my to-do list. I don't know. This um, channel has really become a lot of mental health and like, I don't know, I wanna say like self-improvement. I feel like it's taking me a really long time to improve, but if I look back, I have made a big difference and I see a big difference in myself. I know what like, recent vlogs that I've uploaded have been a little chaotic, have been a little hectic, but I think it's important to normalize that just because you have like a setback, and I'm putting in air quotes because it's not really a setback, but just because you have like a couple days or a week where it's a bad week, that doesn't cancel out all of the hard work that you've done. And I have found that I really have come to peace with my kind of like craziness thanks to you guys, like thanks to these videos, thanks to just me trying to normalize this, not so much for myself, but for other people. And in turn, it has helped normalize it more for me. I just, I love you guys. I hope that you know how much that I love you. I hope that my chaotic journey has maybe helped you feel seen. Like I can't tell you how many people in the comments I talk to on a regular basis. And I really view you guys as my friends, like genuinely my friends. I think that if you watch my videos, you know, consistently enough, I think you guys know me better than a lot of people know me. A lot better than some of my friends in real life know me. So, you know, I just, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. And I hope that me sharing these like crazy tidbits throughout the way is maybe like helpful for you. But just know that you being there is, is, is extremely helpful for me. I did get a package from J. Crew, which we're gonna do a little try on haul. I don't know. I'm trying to like reinvent my wardrobe. I've gotten rid of so many things. I've sold so many things on Poshmark. I've donated so much clothing. All the clothes that I own are so old that I don't know where I like to shop anymore. Like I used to be a heavy shopper at Ann Taylor, but Ann Taylor is not the same in my opinion that Ann Taylor was like 10 years ago. So I'm just trying to find my style. You guys know I love Banana Republic Factory, but it's very hit or miss for me. I actually put together a cart 
yesterday. I was gonna check out, but I had like 16 items in my basket. And granted, like Banana Republic Factory is very affordable. I had 16 things in my basket for like $500. But you guys know I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep all of the things. But that's the problem though. I'll order 16 things. I will get massive, a massive box to my house. And my path of resistance here with Banana Republic is the fact that they use so much plastic in their shipping that it's like, I don't want to order that many things and then have that much plastic to recycle because I know I'm recycling, but I hope that we all know just because you recycle, like 90% of the things we recycle don't get recycled. So it just, it irks me and it bothers me. So I don't know. There were some things like you guys know, I love Banana Republic. I love their cardigans. So I might order, I might just like dwindle down the order and just order what I know will work. Like I had a couple blazers, but I can't say that I really love any of the blazers that I've ordered from Banana. There are a couple that I have ordered that I do love. I don't know, but it's a battle. Like I love affordable clothing, but I don't want to ruin the planet. So you know, constantly, I don't know. It's like a tug between how do I make myself happy? Anyway, very long winded way to say that we're gonna do a J. Crew haul. I have my nephew's fourth birthday today. So we're gonna go celebrate him with his dinosaur themed party, which I'm sure is gonna be super, super cute. He is like a little baby genius. He knows every dinosaur that I've never even heard of. Like it's actually crazy. Like there will be a dinosaur and I will say, Lucas, what dinosaur is that? And he will know the dinosaur. Like literally will answer me within a nanosecond. It's actually wild. Tomorrow we're gonna go to a wine tasting event in New Jersey, which I'm very excited in preparation for a little Napa time, which I have started packing. So which is kind of also why, like my room is pretty clean, but it's getting a little bit messy because I put together, like this is me to a T. I need to write down a packing list of like all the things that I need to pack ahead of time so that I can go through it, cross it off with a red pen as I throw it in my suitcase. Like I need a list. Getting like the motion between my brain, my fingers and the paper, this like really helps with a lot of clarity for me. So I'm crazy and I have like a bajillion freaking notebooks, but you know what it is, what it is. I'm accepting me and whatever works for me and it gives me mental clarity. That's just, I just want peace and I want clarity. And I'm just trying to put like good vibes, good energy, good mood into the weekend because the last few weekends have just like been mentally a mess for me. So I want this one to be better. But anyway, I've been talking a lot. Let's move on. We're gonna go work out. I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna get ready and we're gonna do our J. Crew haul. Remember, stronger is not always showing up perfect with full motivation and nothing's going wrong in your world. It's the opposite. Showing up when it's harder, showing up when you have so much on your plate, showing up when you have this much time, knowing that what you have ahead of you, you're ready for. Whether it's challenges, it's opportunities, whatever it is in front of you, you're ready for it. You deserve it and you can handle it because you're learning and you have learned how to work to be and maintain your stronger. So I'll see you back here for our next workout. Make sure you check out everything in the description for what is coming next, which I'm so excited for. And I'll see you back here for the next one. Stronger, officially complete.
my god, this is so cute. Is this too big? I love this color. Oh my god, blue and green. These are like my two favorite colors and red. I love like the shape of this. Let's like figure out a good angle. Oh my god, this is so cute. I think I need an extra small though. Just because my hands. What do we think? I don't know. This is super cute. This cardigan kind of gives me Goelia vibes, but hopefully better quality, especially for the price point. I got all of this on sale. They were having a fall sale event, but this I got an extra small, thank God. Sorry if you can hear that like really annoying rattling noise. I don't know what that is. Someone's doing something with a compressor outside. And the only reason why I know compressor is because Mike said it. I would have no idea. My goal was to find a sweater in this haul that I could wear to the party. Okay, this definitely fits better. And I need like just a black cardigan. What do we think about this? This is like very preppy. I wish Mike were up here, I would ask him. This definitely fits better. Still a little long on the arms, but I kind of like it when it goes right to my fingers because it keeps me warm, but the other one was just too big. Could be very corporate, this could be very weekend. Let me know your thoughts. Is this a real pocket? It is a real pocket, that's nice. I wanted to button it all the way because this is like, that's like more preppy looking, super cute. Okay, I like this, I think. I'm gonna ask Mike his opinion. We just, I don't know what happened. I took my sweet time this morning, sipping my coffee. It's really my greatest downfall. Like I'll wake up early, but I it still takes me the same amount of time, like a two hours. I need like a two hour slow morning. This color is bright. I'm talking to my friends. We're seeing the clothes that I got That's great quickly. No, it's a trench coat, but I, I, it got good reviews for like petite people. And I kind of like that it's yellow. It's like different. Where were you? I wanted you to see the other two I just had on. Oh, I feel like it fits me better. On my arms, no, the face. It's terrible. Oh, I look like a little duck. Like Paddington Bear. Oh my God, I do, but I kind of like it. Is it ugly? It doesn't fit you. The arm length is fine. The arm length is like perfect. The body is just like way too wide. So it's a no for what us. What button it? Is it double breasted? I kind of wish it had like a fake zipper. I mean a zipper and then like the buttons were like just for like show. What if I like tied it? It's still terrible. Okay, it's terrible. Oh, I really like the color though. Do you like the color or you hate the color too? I like the color for April. Or October. All right, so this will go back. It's okay, We. I want to show you this sweater over here. We'll see sweaters really quick. I think I love this, but I need a smaller size. I like that. But I think it's too big. That's a small? This is a small. That looks like you need an extra small, but how short is it going to be? I don't know, because I feel like it's like the perfect length. Yeah. I feel like the arms are just a little big. Yeah, I would hold on to that. I would order the extra small and then compare them. Okay, but if I keep this, is this not terrible? I like that a lot. It's cute. It's cute, right? Yeah. I like the colors. Okay, what about this? This one I got in an extra small. This is just like very like waspy. And it kind of gives like Ralph Lauren vibes. I like that a lot. You like this a lot? Yeah. I knew you would like this a lot. Sad about the trench coat. The whole reason I placed the order was for the trench coat. I hope I'm not gonna love that red cardigan because I feel like it's like very specific but the color is so good. Babe, what about this? This fits me better. I like it. I like the colors. You know, the other thing is you got really wide legged pants, pants on? on right now and you have these boxy sweaters so if you went with the narrower pant leg I think you might be fine too. Okay. I like it with my earrings. I also got this but I don't really know how I feel about this. I like the color. I feel like it's very like tweedy though. The British are coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it gives that vibe. Which, like, I don't think that's a bad vibe. The British lost. Okay, well, I'm into British people. I like British people. I like the color. Is this work clothes or light clothes? I feel like it could be both. Oh, I kind of like this. This, like, looks expensive. Yeah, that's bigger. It kind of was expensive. Wow, I really like this. What is this, though? Is this, like, a blazer? Is this, like, a jacket? Could it be both? I feel like it could be both. This is my favorite. 
Is this like too hot? Feel it. But like, what are we doing? Are we gonna sit outside? Gonna because sit then yard, yeah. this would might be good. Okay, so bring it. Or no? I mean, it goes well. It's cute. I like it. Should I wear a brown belt with this? Yeah, you should just get moving though. Okay, getting moving. Because you still need ten minutes. Can I try those pants on for you really sure. quick? Uh huh. So sorry. Do you need help? No concept of time. I mean, I like the color. I like that they go with the cardigan. I just don't. I feel like the crotch is too short, so it's like riding a little bit. And this is like very thick material. No, I don't like these. All right, are you ready? Cause I'm ready. Bring this bag. Got my lips. Oh, I need my wallet. I need my wallet. And then, oh my God, the hair came out better than last time, but not great. You ready? Let's go. I don't think I like light lips like this on me. I think I want a, something a bit darker, but I love this formula. Let me tell you what I'm wearing because I didn't tell you what I was wearing. Brune Paul, which is this like really, really beautiful nude lip. I just don't know. I don't know if I like this so much now that I'm brunette. I think I like a darker nude. I don't know. Dusty Rose by Koki, my favorite drugstore lip liner. And then I threw NYX fortune cookie in the middle, which is also really light. I don't know. I think I'm craving something a bit darker, browner. Wow. The winter. This is what it's going to look like all winter, guys. I'm not ready to sit in the dark with you. I'm just, I'm not. If I'm going to sit in the dark with anyone, it would be with you and Michael and the pets, but I'm not looking forward to sitting in the dark, you know, because this is what reality is gonna be. I tried on the J. Crew shoes without you. I'm so sorry, but like I was in a rush clearly because I'm always running late, but I love the shoes. I will try them on for you tomorrow. I thought now we could just get unready together. I feel very pretty today. I'm not gonna lie. I put a little effort in Did the hair. I've been doing my hair with the, I think I have an inch and a half diameter barrel. Is that what, am I saying that right? I don't know. I think I showed you guys in my last vlog, but I think I left it out so I can show it to you when we go wash my face. But I wanted to mention, I really love how my brows came out today. And when I go on vacation, I like to pack my makeup a week ahead of time. It kind of like forces me to use things that I don't normally use. So I packed my brow routine that I was absolutely loving, which has been the dip brow. I'm sorry if the focus is not really focusing. My camera's not used to filming in the dark, I feel like anymore. But today I used the Joa Precision Brow Pencil, which is drugstore, and I used the BB Brow Pencil. I don't know what's happening. Why can't we just focus on me? We're gonna move out of this room because it's focusing on the ghost, it's focusing behind me. Like, is there a spirit in here that this is focusing on? Like, what's happening? Cause I can't remember the last time I had an issue with my camera jumping in and out. I'm making a bigger deal of it than it is, but also the BB Brow Pencil in blonde. So these were the two things that I used. And then I've really been loving this e.l.f. clear brow. I just, I feel like you don't really get a lot in here. And I like that there's a brow side and an eyelash side, but I kind of just want a full one of the brow gel because it's really good. Like it's not too sticky where I feel like I'm like ripping brow hairs to take it out at the end of the night but it definitely keeps them up in place better than a lot of brow gels that I've used recently. So exciting, wanted to mention that. And I also really enjoyed wearing my Laura Mercier lipstick today. I wish it was a different color, like I said before, but it's still really pretty and I'm gonna wear it, but I kind of want to get a different color. I want something a little like moodier, a little vibier. Actually, let's pick lipstick for tomorrow. I want to wear a Vibier nude tomorrow. I want to find like a good signature fall lipstick. Even though it's not really grungy, I go a bit grungier in the fall and the winter, which like this is my favorite kind of makeup, honestly. Like I love summer makeup for the simplicity of it all. And I love when the skin is shining, but I am a makeup girly down, deep down inside. Maybe Mocha by MAC. We can try this tomorrow. Also, we're going to the Short Hills Mall tomorrow because you know clearly we're going to Morristown and Short Hills is close to Morristown. So any excuse that we can get. And I also need to return the J. Crew stuff. So I'm gonna return the coat, as upset as I am about the coat, but I'm gonna return the coat and I'm gonna return 
the dress pants, they were terrible. And then the one sweater was a little big on me, but they sold out of it in every size. So I'm just keeping it because I like it that much. We'll try some kind of fall lip tomorrow, but I'll leave these all out. I love this clip so much. You have no idea how happy this clip makes me. But here's the curler. This is from Maine, M-A-N-E. It's a very large barrel. I feel like you need to have long hair in order for this to look not insane on you. My girlfriend Katie, who bought me this clip, also bought me this. They came together, actually. And I've been using this. This is Eve Loom, the cleanser. It smells insane. Like it's very potent. It smells really good. It's a cleansing oil, but I haven't used it with the cloth that it comes with. So I thought we could do that together because I like this, but I do prefer the Shiseido. I had the perfect cleanser and a pump. I just, I love a pump. And you guys know, like I also really love the Pharmacy Green Clean, which is closer to this, like kind of consistency. But honestly, since the pump, it's just, it makes it so much more convenient. I'm pulling together all the things I want to buy during the Sephora sale because I'm going to make a video of it. And I want everything to be in my cart so I can just hit check out when the sale goes live. It's late this year. It's like the 27th, I think. Here's the makeup. I wore a decent amount today and honestly, Disgusting, but I don't know if you guys saw my Charlotte Tilbury foundation, my perfect skin foundation. I honestly can't even believe I'm saying this, but it like started turning colors. I haven't had it for like that long, although it has been a long time. I actually, I think it's been like three years. So I don't know, but I put that on my face today and my skin hasn't really been doing that great. Like my complexion looks good. I was getting a little bumpy. So I go to my facialist and she tells me that it's dermatitis i think she says she told me that i need to go to my dermatologist and get a prescription but i'm just lazy and i need to go to the dermatologist but that really hasn't been top priority it should be though but it flares up when i'm not eating as healthy like when i am on it and eating healthy and not processed foods my skin doesn't get these little red bumpies but the second that i indulge and i'm like oh you know what your girls works hard let me have a pastry let me have a chocolate i've been eating a lot of chocolate lately like does that contribute to my rash i think it does so i've been using this just like this i wish you could smell it though it has such it's very scented but i read that it's essential oils and it doesn't irritate my skin but i think if you're sensitive to sense, this might bother you. But anyway, I'm just gonna rub this into my skin. And then I wanna use the cloth that it came with. It just seems so luxurious. I just haven't got it with the cloth yet. Honestly, just like loving beauty lately. And I feel like it really helps get me through things. I know I already talked about this, but looking forward to trying new products, it just like adds a little excitement to my day. Or like, even if it's not new products, cause we all know I'm trying to not buy too many things. Like this pro, well, it is a new product though, but just my girlfriend gave it to me, I don't know. But even so, like, you know, when you wake up, you put makeup on and then you can wear your favorite lipstick. Like it's just those little things. They just bring me like happiness. Sometimes the little things in life just have to get you through the day or the moment, you know? This is a self-care moment, you know? I'm just trying to be more grateful and like more positive and not let the negativity trickle into positive pieces of my life. You know, when they say like, don't bring work home, I'm not trying to bring work home. Not only in the sense of work, but just like life. Oh, I should have maybe done this before. I'm supposed to take this cloth, rinse the cloth in warm water, make circular motions to exfoliate the skin, rinse the cloth in cold water, and reapply to the face for five seconds to close the pores. Oh my God, this is so bouge. It's very cakey. I wrung it out. Now it says to do this for five seconds. didn't take a lot of my makeup off. But that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like this. Oh, look at all my mascara coming off my face. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah. So I've been doing this without the cloth. And I can confirm that the cloth I feel like does a really good job of taking off your makeup. Because I really want to get my, my nose pierced. Why was I just going to say that? My ears pierced getting your nose pierced at 33. Why do I keep saying my nose? My ears. I don't want my nose pierced. Not that, you know, 
I think anything other than that. I just don't want to draw more attention to my nose. A decent amount of makeup, I'd say. The thing is, is this is a to-do. Like, you gotta get the, the cloth dirty. You gotta clean the cloth. But I do really like this. This is very schmancy. I have to double cleanse, so I'm gonna use my face reality. I really like this for my dry skin babes out there. Very gentle, but it's not very soapy. So you gotta add water. This is the test. How good of a job I did taking my makeup off and also how good of a product it is with the cloth. Still a decent amount. So I've been triple cleansing. I don't know. I just feel like it's hard to get in here when you're washing your face and not showering, you know, at night, like in the hairline. I think like this cleanser is not that amazing at taking the makeup off. Like it's an experience, but an inefficient experience. I'm gonna go have a, a cup of tea, a tup of tea. What does she say? I'm gonna go have a cup of tea, watch the Yankee game, and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. I wanted to show you the lip, the outfit, all of the things. I'm wearing Honey Bee Gardens lip liner in fantasy. This is the bag that I'm taking out today. And then I'm wearing my e.l.f. lipstick, the O Face lipstick in Own It. I feel like it's like the perfect fallish kind of berry red. And then this is a dress that I rented from Rent the Runway. Let me know, should I keep it? Quality is really nice. It fits me really nicely, I think. And it has pockets. This is the fit. Figured I'd bring this little bag out for the wine tasting. That's where we're going. Sorry, I feel like this video has been a little choppy, but we've just been rushing, going places. Again, we've had parties. I'm trying to get ready for Napa. Laundry's here. <laughs> my luggage is here. And then let me show you the shoes. I'm just wearing my good old rag and bone boots. They're like the perfect kind of like brownish olive, sorry but I am packing for Napa in the midst of it. Should I buy this dress? I really like it. I don't know. It's like a nice hefty material. I feel like it could be good for spring, summer, and fall. I feel like this could look really cute in Napa, but we will test drive it today. I was gonna bring this bag, but I kind of want to mix it up because I brought this bag out yesterday. I feel like this is like cute. I don't know. Sometimes I like a pop of designer, vintage designer. I mean, this is like, quite honestly, more than a pop also, but I just, I think I like the print with this one. And I wanted to wear my, oh my God, those J. Crew shoes that I bought. Oh my God, I'm gonna show them to you. I wanted to put them on, I'm running out of time now. Mike is on his way home to pick me up to go to, we're going to the Short Hills Mall. So excited for that. Then we're going to the wine festival, but Mike's on his way home. I'm liking the more red lips with the hair. I just, I, I don't know, nudes aren't doing it for me right now. And I'm also thinking about filming a fall lipstick video. I pulled a bunch of lipsticks out this morning when I was doing my makeup. And yeah, I just sat here on the phone with my mom. We were chit chatting while I painted my face. And honestly, that's like my favorite way to do my makeup. Like I love doing my makeup with you guys, but I also really enjoy just like calling my mom and talking to her on the phone while I paint my face. Something like very, therapeutic about it my thing lately but all right let's go oh i need sunglasses which i will grab and then i was thinking about this jacket like i don't know if it's gonna be chilly but like this little cropped guy is that like too matchy matchy it feels a little uncomfy maybe i won't wear this jacket back in morristown and the sun's out look at that sky look at your new shirt he bought this shirt at Nordstrom to match me. Five minutes ago. Look how romantic. I don't know if I like it though. I love it. I love it. Look you look very safari. You look very harvesty. Notice how all the other friends were waiting for their friends. <laughs> we were waiting for you. We got water. We set up some chairs because apparently you need to bring chairs to this event. Well, no one said that. Beautiful day. next to the big ass wine model. We take a selfie? Wow. It's huge. Wow. Wow. What a time. You look hot matching me. Sexual. Are we recording? Yeah. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Good to see you again. We're getting attacked by bees. Yeah, we're under attack. Well mainly me, but better me than you. Yeah. I'm afraid of bees. Yeah, it's fine. I'll protect you. Thanks, baby. Anytime. 
beef, bacon. You're gonna burn yourself. Who, me? You don't think so? I just filmed my full lipstick video and this lipstick is actually unreal. I don't know. I don't know what the hell. I have no words. It's Tom Ford in the shade Scarlet Rouge. And then look at it in the bullet. It looks so dark in the bullet, but it's so light. Not light. Oh, I feel like it's just like a face braining lipstick. We got back from the wine tasting. Wine tasting was fun. I had a nice time. It was a beautiful day. And obviously I enjoy spending time with Mike and our family. So we had a beautiful day. The weather was unbelievable. I did some damage at the Short Hills Mall. These are all the lipsticks that I just applied to my lips and swatched. So again, if you're interested in that video, I will link it up here. Came home, got changed, loved the dress that I was wearing, but I just wanted to get out of it. And I put this linen shirt on. It is surprisingly warm out today. So I'm just hanging out in my linen top. But like, when does one wear a linen top like this? I'm genuinely asking for a friend because in the summer, like linen is supposed to be light, but I still find this to be too heavy. And then when I sweat in it, I find that it sticks to me. Anyway, what am I saying? I wanna show you what I bought at the mall. I didn't go too crazy, still, like, I don't know. Le Labo perfumes are very expensive. I did not realize how expensive they were. I bought the same one. I'm, I'm trying a new one. Uh, let me just show you. Why am I talking to you? I could just show you. I went to Bloomingdale's. I had gift cards to Bloomingdale's. I still spent a lot of money. This is like actually ridiculous. It's ridiculous how much money these colognes are. Mike bought this for me for Christmas a couple years ago. This is in Rose 31. It's very interesting. I don't know enough about clearly angles clearly lighting but aside from that um i don't know enough about cologne but i do know that it is actually insane how mike and i both owned the same cologne and it smelled very differently on us like on him the rose smelled more like of a clean actual rose scent or on me it was like smokier spicier but i will say i am someone where i have dry skin no matter how much lotion i put on my skin my perfume does not last on me throughout the day. It is a problem that I have, but Le Labo lasts on me all day long. It's cool how they label it because I bought it at Bloomingdale's in the Short Hills Mall, so it says that. Bloomingdale's, Short Hills. It has the date I bought it, and then you can put whatever you want on it. So for mine, it says Fortune 44, because we all know. You make your own label too. So what it said on the front of that, it says here. So Bloomingdale's Short Hills, 10-5-24. And then it says Fortune 44. So this is so cute. I had no idea that they did that. I love this scent. I don't love the price of it. It's like two something for these perfumes. But again, I will say it lasts you a long time. The girl said if you do like three sprays, which I probably do like five on a day-to-day -day basis just because things don't last on me. But she said, Karina, she was beautiful lovely had such she was so nice if there was one mall i've ever been to where every single sales associate i ever work with is amazing it's the short hills mall they're just like they just get it like the service is great and i never feel like i'm being hounded or like i don't know you know like when they like creep up on you and it's like give me my space no i actually like with each and every person i always feel like i'm shopping with them like it's like a friend that i'm shopping with which is terrible because then i end up buying more because i was just gonna go buy this and then she got me and granted she gave me like a bunch of samples but i got another one i got the matcha in a smaller size Bloomingdale's Short Hills. I did 10.5. Obviously, that's the date today. And then I just got 44 on it. This is absurd how much this is. So this is the matcha. And again, it has 44 on it, which is so cute. So I don't know. This is really nice. I feel like I'm going to end up liking this one more than the rose one. Those are my two perfumes that I bought at Bloomingdale's. And I had a lot of gift cards. But um, let me tell you something. Still spent a lot of money. Like... It's actually absurd. Let us recycle this. Do I need these papers? Probably not. I need to get this room together. I was so organized and now between packing and whatnot, it's a disaster in here again. She also gave me, I mean, is doing something Italian right now. It's like their catalog was like Italy and whatnot. But like, look at this bag that she gave me. Look at this bag. Siamo Tutti Belli. I do Duolingo every day for Italian, and I'm pretty sure that means we are all beautiful. Siamo Tutti means all. Belli, plural for Bella. So, so cute. And I love that this is a pocket. Oh my God, this is so nice. Funny, because we all know I love designer bags, 
but we all know I live for a good canvas bag and the fact that this has Italian words on it, I eat it up, I eat it up. This is not the only bag that I bought. Look at this bag. I just saw this at J. Crew and got very like vintage, kind of like YSL vibes. It has a little turn style here. Actually, let me take the plastic off. It has a little turn here. And I just really like the vibe of this. I like how this is adjustable. It's one strap, a shoulder strap. Like how cute is this? I like the smooth leather. This is real leather. I think this was like 150. I'm gonna try and find it. I couldn't find it on line when I was there because I saw it and then there was a really long line. I was going to return some stuff, obviously. We did my haul yesterday. When I was waiting in line, I saw this and I was like trying to Google and I didn't see this online, but I saw it on the floor and it was literally the last one. Like she checked, she went in the back and so I had to buy it. Let me know what you think. I just, I feel like it's very plain Jane for me, but I feel like I'm really lacking like a plain Jane, kind of like throw it on your shoulder and go. I'm looking at this one here. And I feel this could be plain, but it's not really plain. Like it's still loud. I feel like I just needed something sophisticated. And again, I don't know, this is giving me like that YSL clutch. It's kind of like that smooth leather. I'm pretty sure this is Italian leather. I'm really snotty when it comes to handbags. I don't think it's Italian leather. I thought she said it was Italian leather. It's from London. Okay, we don't hate that. Lining is cotton. The shell is cow leather. I hate that it's a cow. Um, that bothers me, but leather is from an animal, so I don't know why. That bothers me every time, but what do we think? I feel like it's very sophisticated lady, Jackie O lady. I don't think it's coming to me with a Napa. I don't think it's fun enough for Napa, but do be sure to let me know. What do you think? I envision myself, like this is what I do when I see handbags. I envision myself. I'm going to grab coffee with Aunt Debbie. I'm going to run to lunch with my sister. Let's move what I had in my bag into here and let's see, because you know what I did? I bought this bag and I didn't put shit in this bag. And I always tell all of you, like put things in your bag to see the room that one has. But I feel like this is, yeah, this is definitely roomier. This is so cute. Okay, and then I came home and there's a pocket on the inside too. See, that's a nice pocket too. Then I came home and I was like, Mike, I'm gonna return it. Cause I showed it to Mike in the car and Mike was like, it's kind of boring. So then I had it in my head that it was boring. But then he explained to me what he meant and I think it's like the right kind of boring. Like I think it's the boring that I needed, but this is nice. I was just looking for my camera to put my camera in here to see if it fits, but you are the camera, so silly me. Does my pochette fit in here? Honestly, I can't tell you like first world problems and I get annoyed about stupid things sometimes as we all do. Like I get annoyed when my pochette can't fit in my bed. Like my pochette doesn't fit in this Gucci D-ring and I don't know why it irks me. So then I take the necessities out of here, but quite honestly, I think everything in here is a necessity for me. Yes, <gasps> beautiful. I think my camera would fit in here too. Okay, this is perfect. I'm very excited about this. She's staying, she's staying. We're keeping her. It is a must. So wow, I love this, more affordable for me. Um, we all know I have a thing for designer. It's very like vintage looking, expensive looking. You really helped convince me that I love it just now. Just me sharing has convinced me. All right, I need to clean this room because whoa, it is actually a disaster. 